Do you ever wonder why your tomatoes look brown and soft on the ends or why they have cracked skin? And when your tomatoes look strange, do you wonder, is it safe to eat them? These are some of the most common questions and concerns we hear at the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center. Hello, I'm Joanna Carpenter, a Sacramento County Master Gardener. A lot of common tomato problems are not caused by pests or disease. Rather, they're caused by inconsistent watering, such as too much or too little water, too much or too little sun, soil deficiencies, or just selecting a variety of tomato that is not well adapted to the location or planting zone. Today we'll be going over a few examples and provide some tips on how to prevent some of these common problems. One very common tomato problem is blossom end rot, which starts as small brown spots at the blossom end of immature fruit. The area expands and gradually turns brown-black with a larger soft spot. To prevent this problem, avoid light daily irrigation. Instead, water deeply, but less frequently, giving a good long soak every few days. And mulch, mulch to reduce fluctuations in soil moisture and follow recommended rates when fertilizing. The next common problem we're going to talk about is sun scald. Think of this as a tomato sunburn. Tomatoes exposed to the hot sun become white or tan and leathery. As the tomato ripens, the area becomes moldy. To prevent sun scald, don't prune the leaf cover shading the tomatoes. If tomatoes are exposed to direct sun, provide shade. A good option is shade cloth. It's readily available, inexpensive, and very effective. Another common tomato problem is cracking. Cracks occur when the internal flesh grows faster than the expansion of the tomato's skin. This can be due to sun exposure and wide fluctuations in air temperature. Minimize cracks by mulching to reduce fluctuations in soil moisture and temperature, by maintaining good leaf coverage, and by selecting less susceptible varieties. Lastly, let's talk about cap facing. Tomatoes with cap facing are misshapen with large scars and holes at the blossom end. This deformity occurs during the formation of the blossom. Some varieties, especially beefsteak heirlooms, are more susceptible. Not much can be done to control cat facing except to select resistant varieties. For all these conditions, your tomatoes are still edible. If they're not rotted or moldy, just cut away the affected parts. I hope that these tips help you solve or avoid some common tomato problems so that you can enjoy a bountiful and beautiful and delicious crop of tomatoes.